Hello and welcome to Firecoder. This is part 1 of the MySQL InnoDB cluster series. In this part 1, we are going to install MySQL server and create multiple instances of it. Before we dive into creating multiple instances of MySQL server, let's take a look at some of the key advantages of MySQL InnoDB cluster. At the core of InnoDB cluster is its commitment to high availability. It provides automatic failover capabilities, ensuring that in the event of server failures, the transition to a backup source occurs seamlessly. This significantly reduces downtime and ensures that critical services remain accessible. When it comes to data consistency, an ODB cluster excels in this regard by maintaining data consistency through synchronous replication. Every node in the cluster is in sync, ensuring real-time data integrity. As far as write scalability is concerned, it offers a remarkable ability to scale write operations. With this solution, you can write to any member of the cluster, distributing write operations for optimal performance. It also offers integrated management, usually managing a a MySQL InnoDB cluster can be a complex task, but InnoDB cluster simplifies this process. It includes MySQL Shell, a unified and intuitive interface that streamlines cluster management. With this tool, administrators have the ability to oversee the entire cluster seamlessly. There are two ways to set up MySQL InnoDB cluster. The NodeDB cluster can be set up in single primary mode or in multi-primary mode. In single primary mode, only one member of the cl cluster allows write operations while the rest are read-only secondaries. And in multi-primary mode, all the members in the cluster allow both read and write operations. Usually, InnoDB cluster is set up in single primary mode. Advanced users can take advantage of multi-primary mode. Here is an overview of InnoDB cluster having three instances. This is a single primary mode InnoDB cluster having only one primary instance allowing read and write operations and two member instances, secondary instances, allowing only read-only operations. A minimum of three instances is needed to function as an InnoDB cluster. Adding further instances increases the tolerance to failure of an InnoDB cluster. With three instances, it can tolerate up to one failure. Each instance runs group replication to replicate data within an InnoDB cluster. So any write operation to the primary instance will be replicated to other member instances in the InnoDB cluster. Okay, so let's get started by installing MySQL Server. Click Next to install. Uh, this is having the default port number 3306. Click Next and enter the root password. Make sure you use a strong password. I'm using weak password for demonstration purposes. Click next and install this as Windows service. Click next. The data directory will be stored in program data. Click next. I'm going to install the sample databases as well. Click next. The configuration has been applied. Click finish to install. So we have one instance of MySQL server installed on this machine. Let's take a look at that. Open task manager. 
under services we have one instance of mysql server running we want to create two more instances to uh, use in InnoDB cluster so the installation folder for that instance is under program files and the data directory for that instance is under program data uh, inside mysql we have another folder which contains the data directory and the configuration file let's open that so these are the configuration options uh, for this instance having the port number 3306 for the server section as well there is a port number uh, base directory the path to the installation directory and the path to the data directory as well also we have the server ID which must be unique for every each and every instance so we're going to create uh, two more instances these are the steps to create an instance from an existing installation of mysql server first we want to create a data directory uh, for that instance then uh, copy the configuration file from the existing instance uh, and change uh, some of the configuration options uh, that are unique to this uh, instance then we want to initialize the data directory of that instance and then install the instances windows service then we can uh, start the service and assign a password okay so now we can create uh, two more uh, folders for uh, two more instances which will have the data directory name it as mysql server s1 uh, s2 and s3 and now we want to copy the configuration file for of that existing server and paste inside uh, the other two instances we want to edit some options uh, for this instance change the port number to 3307 And down here also the support number change that to 3307 uncomment uh, the base directory option uh, specify the part to the data directory also give a unique server id save and then close Uh, then do the same thing for the other instance as well copy the configuration file to that folder and edit the configuration options for this instance change the port number to 3308 Port number as 3308 and comment uh, the base directory. Also specify the path to the data directory. So, and one more thing we want to have a unique server ID for this instance. Change the server ID. 
save and close now we can use the data directory for the two instances so to do that we have to bring up a command prompt with elevated privileges that means we have to run it as administrator let's first change the path uh, to mysql installation binaries uh, so that we can uh, run mysql commands to initialize the data directory let's get the pod copy the pod cd now we can invoke mysql commands mysql d to initialize the data directory it takes uh, three options the first option is initialize insecure with initialize insecure uh, the server generates an empty password the second option is base directory which is the uh, path to the mysql installation folder and make sure you put double slash uh, in the path Also, it takes one more option, which is the data directory, the path to the data directory for this instance. Let's get the path to the data directory. Uh, it is under program data. Copy the port. Uh, specify the data folder as well. For this also, uh, put the double slash in the port. Hit enter to execute the command. Okay, we have initialized the data directory. Now we can uh, install the instances Windows service. MySQL D install give a service name it takes uh, one option which is the defaults file this takes the uh, path to the configuration file so let's copy the path uh, to the configuration file slash my dot ini hit enter uh, the service has successfully installed now we can start the service net start and the service name hit enter the service is starting and has started successfully so it's ready to connect to the instance invoke mysql specify username and password and leave it as empty also specify the host name and port number for port use cap capital p First time we can enter with empty password, hit enter. 
Now we can assign password for the root account using alter user statement. Alter user root at uh, localhost identified by give a password. semicolon and hit enter so we have assigned password for the root account and finally to flush privileges to clear the MySQL cache okay so we have uh, initialized uh, data directory for MySQL server uh, that's listening at port number 3307 let's uh, do the uh, Data directory initialization for the third instance. MySQL initialize insecure base directory and uh, specify the data directory port. Then we have to install the uh, instances Windows service. Give a different service name. Hit enter. The service has successfully installed. Now we can start uh, the service. The service has started successfully. It's ready to connect to the instance. Connect to the instance with empty password. Now we can assign password for the root account. using alter user statement alter user root at localhost identified by password semicolon and hit enter to execute the statement finally do flush privileges that's it so we have created uh, two instances of mysql server from one uh, server that we just installed Let's take a look at that. Uh, under services, we have uh, three instances of MySQL server running, as you can see. We have three instances. Uh, now we can, in the next part, we will be configuring uh, these three instances and uh, we will be creating a cluster.